Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. For the start of this week, the Australian dollar retreats on Friday from that resistance of 73, 75, 85, as you can see here on the four hourly chart and clearly in a negative pattern. However, that being said, we still need to break beneath the 72.70 and 72.40 to get further weakness and support a further down challenge towards that recent low around 71.40.80. Fresh ch uh, challenges towards the upside still sees a cap around 73.75.85 and any challenges towards there should find good supply returning. With the um, US dollar index Recovering back over 102 on Friday now puts further light to the downside for Euro. As you can see here from the retreat in front of that resistance of 106.65.80 uh, now looks to the immediate target of 104.70.90. Now a break beneath there would give further scope and back towards the challenge of 104.20 and 103.40.50 which is the near 14 year low. I still am in view of the fact that we should eventually see the US dollar rally on on an index above the recent near 14 year highs of 103.80 and look up towards 104 to 105, which in turn sees the euro take out this support of 103.40 and down towards the 101 to possibly towards 1.005070 as an objective. So the, let's keep that view in mind for the start of this month and see how the market plays out today and if we are truly on its bearish path then we should see euro soon to challenge that uh, support holding at 104.70 to 104.20. Dolly yen well impressively the market did sell off away from that 118 reaches its target at 115 and now rebounds and looks up further from the resistance breaking this morning of 107 sorry 11715 with the objective holding towards 11770 now a break above there would give further scope and i expect to see these highs taken out around that 11860 level and rally on towards an objective of 119 to 120 support on the day comes in now at 116.4060 sterling no surprise as the market retreats away from that 124 level and now further weakness seen looks towards immediate target of 122.60 as we challenge this level now. Now a break beneath there would give further scope to the downside and look towards 121.60 and lower to the flash crash that we saw around that 118 region. And that's where I'm in view. I have had the view now for, for some time. Resistance on the day is seen at 123.30. It seems that uh, the bullishness for gold is now backing off after reaching a high around that 1182 level. In light of the current pattern, I expect to see further weakness now and see this bullish phase turn around away from that 1180.90 and look down towards the immediate support of 1167 and down towards 1160. Now a break underneath 1160 would give further scope to the downside and give immediate target of 11.48 and reassess from there. And to wrap up with the oil, the key reversal that um, was posted last week is still intact and while remaining underneath 54.80 I'm still looking to an objective of 49.60. If we do break above 54.80 then I have got a neutral view and I would expect to see the technical pattern eventually turn to the upside but at the moment, we're still negative, so I still hold that view down towards 49.60 and reassess from there. So that wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for my intraday report, which will be coming out very shortly.